coming at me. Surely he's not coming at me. Hi, Big Joe. Hey guys, we are a bison ranching. Let me tell you that, doing what we do. One of the things dealing with bison ranching that we always talk about is fencing. We've got a fencing issue. You know it's not a good start to your day when you pull up to the Ponderosa and the Big Joe herd is not in the pasture they're supposed to be in. And now Dunbar and Big Joe are closer together and the boys are showing off their dominance. So this is how our day started. The Big Joe herd, which was supposed to be in pasture three, is now in pasture one, which is where we planted our cover crop. Not ideal. Now Big Joe and Dunbar are much closer. Big Joe's looking for Dunbar. Dunbar is looking for Big Joe. The boys are showing their male dominance, rolling around, scraping the ground, being big boys, doing their thing, showing who's boss. Well, it's not a good sign for us because now that means we got fence work to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Rivers Bison. I'm Dusty. Got the family with. We've got some issues going on at the ranch. Of course, we've been battling with the Big Joe Dunbar thing since they've both been here together. I've been dealing with a cross fence and it's something that I've pushed off and pushed off and just got by basically. Now, I can't keep the bison out because of this cross fence. I don't want to teach them bad habits that they can go through or jump over bad fencing, some fence that's been here forever. Well, now we're in a hustle to get this fence done to keep these bison occupied and keep them separated out here in a pasture three, which is where they're all strung out right now. Just fed them some cubes. Marissa and I are gonna hustle on this. We gotta get some help on this fence, building it because we're making a move really fast because we don't want them in pasture one. And that's the issue right now is they're breaking through this fence. Been avoiding it, but now our hand has been forced and we gotta get some stuff done quickly we're gonna move this herd lock them in nine acres for a couple of days and we got to get the fence done they're chasing green grass and we're about to work our bison bring them all up but we're not quite ready for that we got to have this fence ready coming at me surely he's not coming at me hi big joe hey buddy Oof. oh he's so closer to Dunbar we've got issues and so there has to be a gap between Dunbar and Big Joe and it causes lots of problems so we've got to get this fence done we've just got to get it finished we have to rip it out build a new one and because they're chasing the green grass too this has got a cover crop on it and so they're they're they want in here they want in here um, they've been in here for winter and now they want over here and so I mean I don't get it I don't blame them but We've got to build this fence. We've had issues with this fence before, but not this big of an issue, basically. Yeah. You've, uh, you've been patching it. And... It's been patched several times. 
over and over, but there's this one spot where it's super weak and it's right here. Um, and if you guys remember the jumper, I think last year she was jumping the fence where she got her nickname, uh, 54 cow. This is a section. So she pretty much weakened it. If you guys want to take a look at it. This is, uh, this is where... And this happened like literally in a matter of seconds. Yeah, it takes, if one jumps and then the other feels encouraged to jump, then it's like one or two do it, it's over. And so this is, uh, this is Boston ranching right here. With um, and this fence, we'll say, this fence was already existing here. It was already here, and we just used it as a cross fence. And we've been trying, we've actually been building fence. We just built a quarter mile fence um, on the back side of the property. It's like constantly building new and new fence over and over. And now we've been patching this up, getting by, and now it's time to... Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet and do it now. We had other plans, but... I wanted to save this cover crop. It needs growth, and here we go. So, um, so Marissa and Dusty are going to try to teamwork remove down. the wire. So here's how. And hopefully go. the day ends with happy faces. Yeah, exactly. I know. Anyways, <laughs> um, we got to cut the wire off of it. Bring the skid steer down here. I've got to replace an H post. What's up? sets you back because the H post is like this it's going down so we need to get it out cut the barbed wire off lay it down rip the T post up rip up the H brace you have to set a new H brace take the gate off you have to do all these things to redo it to make up a new one so look at this stuff look how you've seen this has been patched up before and now it's super I mean it's 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 very rusty and it's been patched up. It was patched up before we got here. Before we even got to Ponderosa. And it's even patched up more since yeah. we've had it. We've so. patched it several times. Just to just to get us by, uh, you know. Really, you wanted to do this a whole, this whole uh, I guess that'd be the north side and this stretch. We wanted to do it all at once. But now we're going to just yep, start this process today. We're going to keep having issues with Big John Dunbar. Yep. And them jumping. And you don't want them, you don't want to teach them that this is okay. You don't want the bison to know, hey, this is a weak spot. You can come through. It's a fence. Also, if anyone uh, knows of a company that sells just right hand gloves, you just let me know because we just have a smorgasbord of lefties, but not very many rights <laughs> so i got uh, like a triple x on one hand and then like a petite on the other sorry <laughs> i got you uh, there's other gloves there no there's those are all lefties no, they're not yes they are there's one other one that has a giant hole in it well, here we'll take this and start cutting start cutting where am i cutting just anything huh? all of it just start cutting all of it Come here, I'll show just you. chopping it up into little pieces no you gotta get on this side Okay. Here, I'll show you. Take these. This is what Eli is pretty good at. Take it. Oh, just cutting the clips. Okay, I can just do that. Just cutting the clips. And we'll come by and pick them up later. I don't want them in the pasture. Gotcha. And then you have to try to bang them off of it. Like that. Okay. I can, I can do that. That's easy enough. Okay. Get rid of a T post. Okay. we're doing is I got the skid steer I've got my bucket 
bucket's kind of a multi-tool. I do have some T-post pullers. It's also a tree puller from Precision Manufacturing. But with the bucket, we're gonna pull T-post. And the other thing I gotta do is I've gotta push some blackberries over and get them out of the way because this is kind of an emergency fence build. I'm gonna do that instead with this just to get them out of the way and I can do it really good with the bucket. I've used them to push blackberries before and it works for you pretty well. So kind of a two for one uh, implement here. Basically got uh, almost all the wire cut off the T-post. She's following me. She's gonna continue to do that. And uh, then we're gonna pull the T-post. I'm gonna pull this H-post up really the way too. Well, I can do that with the bucket. Some of you are saying, well, why aren't you gonna use this? Well, it's going downhill. I don't know if you can see that right now through this camera. You can see there's that much sticking out of the ground and that much sticking out of the ground there, okay? Cause it's going downhill. It's pulled from there that way and the pressure over time goes down. That's why we do these down braces on our new fences from now on. Plus this is two and three eighths pipe. We like to go two and seven eighths pipe up and then a two and three eighths across there you're getting more pipe in the ground it's going to last you longer so we're going to pull this up real quick i'm going to get it right in the center just lift it up okay yeah. it should fit in there could you reuse it for anything else yeah as a middle h brace but not a not a beginning point gotcha pull it come here buddy We're gonna try to, since there's blackberries that have taken over this fence for 10 plus years, got a little way of doing this. I've done this before. Got the barbed wire wrapped around it. Should have tension on it. We're gonna try to pull it out. Trying to be a part of that. There's a tea pot. Stuff is gnarly.
Mouse just screwed into there. I don't ever tell her this because I don't want her head to be too big. But my wife is quite a champion of a wife, ranch hands, mother, you name it. Look at her out here helping me pull two posts. Not many wives out here doing this kind of work. She's a beast. Born and raised in Nebraska. Didn't grow up doing this stuff though, but she's uh, dealing with, look at her, she's been cut up with blackberries and she was supposed to go to kickboxing this morning and didn't do it, but now look at her, she's out here doing this with me. Getting a workout, get a country workout, ranching workout today. Oh, see, look at there, blackberries, everything. happen to be recording. <laughs> oh. Why we don't like blackberries right there, y'all? They jump up and bite you, as Forrest Gump would say. Something bit me. We're gonna go. We're gonna go double check that gate. You'll have. You can stop. They won't. You don't even have to come in. They'll come in. One, two, three, four. Oh, they are jazzed up. I can't 
tell how many came through. I might back up to the top of the hill and see what we got. Let me count them real quick. No, uh-uh. Where? Where? out here behind the wind we got all the two posts pulled up got all the barbed bar wire roll it up well we're doing that currently eli marissa and brooks are helping me roll the wire up we got lots of rolls already this is a little over 700 feet that is what it basically is an emergency fence build is what we're doing tear down and build we got a h brace already set we got one more gonna get set tomorrow it looks like but um and we managed to get the bison locked up in the halfway acres hadn't had any bison on it in months and so they're gonna be happy in there for a while chasing that green grass but they were following us with the feed truck they were following us in the pasture so we went for it those are pretty light aren't they eli <laughs> what do they weigh? 60, 60 LBs. 60 LBs. Getting that workout in. Who needs the gym when you got bags of concrete, right, Eli? <laughs> what? Yep. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, Dustin. bags per uh buddies now. Jackie's hanging out with Eleanor, keeping her company. It's all torn out and it's ready for a new fence. We're getting some fence help on this and we're going to hire it out so we can get it done fast. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Keep on bison ranching.